18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse has been acquitted of all charges after he shot two people in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The verdict declared last Friday in a highly debated trial. Prosecutors failed to overcome Rittenhouse class that acted in self-defense. Jurors debated over a 27-hour period that Rittenhouse was found not guilty on the five counts of first-degree intentional homicide, first-degree reckless homicide, first-degree attempted intentional homicide, and two counts of first-degree reckless endangerment. Disabled gaming creator Good Times with Scar, known for his involvement with the Hermitcraft series, shares his current situation with his audience, showing an image of him in the hospital bed stating, Unfortunately, I took a turn for the worse again. I developed a bad fever and my immune system has gone downhill. Someday I will beat this infection. This was met with a very supportive response from fans and friends alike. Biden's $1.7 trillion Build Back Better Act was passed by the House on Friday. Senate leader Chuck Schumer wants this act passed as soon as possible, so he's gathered 50 members from his caucus to back the bill. We will act as quickly as possible to get this bill to President Biden's desk and deliver help for middle class families, Schumer says. The bills would help with child care, Medicare, and it would be putting $550 billion into programs designed to curb climate change. The Senate will most likely make these changes even before the bill is passed. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The home boys and girls basketball games, volleyball matches, and wrestling meets start next week. The athletic department would like to take this opportunity to invite the student body and school staff to our home games and meets this winter. Any student on suspension is not allowed into any contest. Game times for each event is 5 p.m. JV starts varsity immediately I can't following <laughs> following and wrestling starts at 6 p.m. Admissions is two dollars for adults and one dollar for students. Cooperative support from the ESM community is always very much appreciated. Remember that masks must be worn at all times during inside sporting events. Thank you for your efforts in promoting athletics at ESM. On Tuesday, November 30th, there will be a very brief but mandatory meeting for all ESM football players in grades 9 through 12. This will include seniors who will be graduating. The meeting will be held in B23. Once again, this meeting will be very brief. See, please see Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. The weight room is open this Monday and Tuesday with regular hours. It is closed during Thanksgiving break. Happy Turkey Day. Thanksgiving is coming up, and we want to make sure that everyone has an equal opportunity for a nice meal. If you want to help out with making sure that everyone is fed for this holiday, there are several, several charities that are more than willing to accept volunteers. This is also a great chance for many of the seniors to get into volunteer hours. That's right. Some of these charities include Meals on Wheels, My Father's Kitchen, and Feeding America. With our Thanksgiving forecast, let's go to weather. Today feels like the first day of, we of winter, although winter does not start for nearly a month. Today we'll have a high of 36 and a low of 27, with a few lingering snow flurries. Tomorrow we will have a high of 44 and a low of 33. Looking ahead to Thanksgiving, we will have a high near 50, and I'm Abby with your weather. Meals on Wheels will go around to personally deliver a Thanksgiving meal to your doorstep on the morning of to any individual or family in need. My Father's Kitchen specifically helps to feed the homeless and strives to bring hope and reassurance to as many as they can reach. The best part is they're a locally owned business right here in Syracuse. In addition to those two charities, Feeding America is going to be hosting a virtual food drive this year. This means that instead of collecting canned goods, the virtual food drive collects funds to help a nationwide network of local food banks. Every dollar you, can, every dollar you raise can help provide at least 10 meals to those facing hunger. The boys' bowling team won against West Genesee 2-1. Ryan Buffum had the highest single set score of 210. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the New York Giants 30-10. Tom Brady went 30 of 46 for 307 yards and two touchdowns. In upcoming games, the boys ice hockey team plays against Liverpool at 5.30 tonight. They also play tomorrow at CNS at 1.30. And boys wrestling has a meet at Canasota at 3.30 tomorrow. And Friday, ice hockey plays again at Skin the Atlas at 7.30. And I'm John with your sports. Don't donut. All right, well, that's all the time we have for you today. From me, Nicole, and everyone else at The Morning Show, have a great Thanksgiving.